Let's check out Nightshade. First of all, in Fraud's Army. On the right, you could see the image that has been shaded. I Photoshop it so you could see it as a human. And you can see the AI that has some not been poisoned, can still protect laptop and hack and whatever kind of stuff it sees. So that still works, it doesn't do anything. So here is clip and blip labeling the data set of African wild dogs, an open data set I have taken from biologists. And I will poison these images and then I'm gonna chain the clip, listen for the SOMA VIT B32 on that data set. And just for fun, I also had clip and bloop label the actual poison data. And as you can see, they can still detect the wild dogs and describe them normally. Though there are a few unusual words with it, like have a grizzly bear in the slaughterhouse, old giga ched with gray beard. But um, yeah, it's just a few picks with those differences. It doesn't hinder the AI from seeing the actual class. So let's train or fine tune to be precise. The clip model on the poison data set. I use gradual layout freezing to prevent overfitting. And there's also a fit, so I'm going to choose this Epoch 25 model. This now poisoned clip model. And let's see what's up the stray influence. So let's use our gradient ascent again. Input image, then optimize the text and settings for close end similarity with the image and settings and get a clip opinion that way. So the word after the underscore, that is the clip predicted word for what it saw in the image, so to say, and uh, the attention visualization for that particular thing, the feature detected in the image. And we can see uh, canine, dog, all kinds of other stuff. Wild dog in the bottom there, that's very did. And now the Hoyland model. Okay, best friends, bodies, chilling, calls, duo, lobos, Relaxing, resting, rests, sibling. No word of a dog. What is happening? How about this Prudo from the Stanford Dogs data set? On the top, you can see the poison clip predicting chicken and duck, while the Vanilla three train clip model is able to actually detect the poodle. And uh, the other gas, the D song, for example, that is still given by both the poison model and the original model. But Indeed, it seems that this wild dog poisoning has spread to the entire class of dogs, possibly, which I had secretly anticipated and hoped for. Let's check that out in more detail. So here I used cats, uh, hopefully unrelated clocks, poisoned images I used for validation moss during training, my Stanford dogs data set, just all kinds of random dogs, and African wild dogs that have not been poisoned and not seen during training. And as you can see, yes, pretty much the entire dog path was ruined. You can see both models have some trouble uh, to classify poisoned images correctly, but the unpoisoned model, the model that has not been trained on that data, can still classify the Stanford dogs with very high accuracy. By the way, on the bottom there, you can see everything that I consider valid if predicted by clip for a given type of image. Can't images, dot images, STF Geestons of Stanford, poisoned images, wild dogs images not poisoned. And remarkably, you can see the cat's class is not affected. So if another clip had three, this classifications, and the poison clip just had one of classification, no, we probably didn't get better. It's just a statistical fluctuation. You know, it's a random probability sample of tokens of words that clip is predicting. And yeah, so let's check out the Cochrane data set, pretty much as random images. And there you can see we have a slightly higher misclassification rate for cattle, which is probably related to the background and has been poisoned in the dogs and was quite similar. But otherwise, for other animals or airplanes or whatever, that doesn't seem to be an elevated rate of misclassifications. So it seems that we have pretty much poisoning to the dogs class in isolation with uh, some spillover to related classes. Related as in the background looking similar. So um, this is very interesting and neat. So let's use the poison clip for guidance and make AI art like it 2021. 
The inlet which you can see there is made by Big Gun, so just wait for it and clip optimizes towards Dog Labrador. Well, I'm not sure what the stuff on the bottom is, but that stuff melt me on the bar. So, is this just the math? I mean, everything is a mess because this was 2021 AI art, but you can tell that there's something wrong with this clip, even though it's very abstract. And for Amnon Poem Cloth, the Ginger Kitty here is still a Ginger Kitty, as by the standards of 2021 at least. So let's take another look at an interesting example. Here you can see Tatches, Frisbee, everything was predicted, like the Frisbee is seen flying into an air or something, because it didn't see the dog. But the Bamilla clip, of course, sees Collie or Doggo, Dogs, Frisky, Retriever, Labrador, whatever it guesses. So this is quite remarkable, I would say. Let's check out some feature activation visualization. So clips neurons, so to say, what clip has learned. And as you can see, for these tree-like things, they're actually multi-model neurons, so it's not complex, but here it seems like there's not much of a change. While other features have changed in much more dramatic way than I would say. But again, these are multimodal neurons, so that's probably information that was all in there before just down current form to this lousy dimensional image from clips high dimensional space now let's see what happened to uh hell no cliff let's not go there oh my god what happened to you never mind let's let's just move on moving right along with wild gox the poison class let's pass it through the neural network and obtain the maximum activations for the features and as you can see, all fine tubes, including on the bottom, my fine tube, which is a clip trained on the feature activation visualizations of its own neurons. Don't ask. And you can see the initial features in the actuator are the same. And on the data on, they change hermetically. So that's quite interesting. Now, what can we do with these features? Here they are. Future activation visualizations obtained from a Gaussian noise in it. And uh, I guess now I can leave you with a deep dream of a clip, at a poison clip, dreaming on its own plush neurons while seeing the police class. Goodbye and thanks for watching.